we had an instinct. We, we thought the festival was needed. You know, we, we felt that there was a gap. Norman Armour is executive director of the PUSH International Performing Arts Festival. He's an actor, he's a director, a producer, and an artist who's deeply devoted to craft. It comes down to the art and that sense of rigor. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Norman is an entrepreneur too. He's become a curator and animator by inviting artists and, and companies and bringing work into the city that in some ways changes the landscape of the artists who are, who are practicing here. Norman's accomplishments really connect to this idea of thinking of the world because to me that's what he is doing. Norman helps to facilitate communication and exchange around the world. He's been part of a movement of artists who've placed a greater importance on collaboration. And what underlies that, I guess, is a philosophy that, that there are great minds here, that there are great creators here. Norman was one of the founders of Rumble Productions, a company that he was artistic producer of for many, many years, which is still is a theatre company that's really at the forefront of the indie theatre scene. That really opened up the door to ask, well, what, what is theatre? What, what is the purpose of it? How does it sit inside of, of our society? How is it still relevant? That kind of mission statement came out of Norman. I remember he was talking about the festival for years before it started to take shape. He'd say, what the city needs is a curated festival. And then a couple years later, there it is. That vision for the festival that, that Norman and Katrina had has really impacted the city by saying, we are connected to contemporary practice. We are con connected to what people are doing right now in other places. It has become a real force and a real festival inside of the city of Vancouver that has captured not only the imagination of the artists who work here, but audience members who are hungry to, to see what's going on. And suddenly there are these opportunities for, for local regional artists to be interacting and exchanging with, with people from around the world. Now he's expanding his vision to Asia, to Latin America, to places where there's there are greater cultural divides, and he's trying to, to bridge those things. So that, to me, is inspiring, that you know, one little idea can grow that way. And it's not that you, you leap to that, but you grow to that. Norman was always, um, and, and continues to be, really uh, encouraging to emerging artists, where they can get their hands dirty, and where they can, they can really shine. There is a, a, a care. Uh, a love for the people here that is revealed when he says, you know what, this person would be perfect for this, and, and he connects that. He's driven by the sense of this city and, and the people who live here. He's not always in the spotlight. You know, I think that he's a really generous artist in the sense that he allows uh, other people to share the spotlight. He still always pushes for the big vision. You just have to believe that it's going to happen, and then somehow it happens. His energy seems to never end. I don't know how he does it. Norman, on behalf of the group of friends and colleagues who nominated you for the Outstanding Alumni Award for Arts and Culture, congratulations and thank you for everything you've done for the arts and culture community in Vancouver.